Victory in the Christian life is often misunderstood. While the world sees victory as something achieved through effort, like the Olympics and struggle, the Bible teaches that true victory is found in a different way. Here are three key truths about victory from Scripture. Number one, victory is something we receive, not achieve. 1 Corinthians 15, 57 tells us, but thanks be to God who gives us the victory in Jesus. Victory isn't something we earn by our efforts. It's a gift from God. Jesus has already won the ultimate victory over sin and death. As believers, we are invited to receive this victory by faith. We don't have to fight for it. We simply accept what Jesus has done and live in that reality. Our victory is a result of his triumph, not our own striving. Number two, active in faith, passive towards sin. Ephesians 6, 10 through 18 describe the armor of God and encourages believers to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Here we see that our strength comes from God, not from ourselves. Believers are called to actively engage in the fight of faith, standing firm in God's truth and by living by faith. However, when it comes to fighting sin, we are to rely on God's power, not our own. The focus is on standing firm in what God has already accomplished rather than struggling in our own strength. Number three, real victory is surrendering the battle to God. In 2 Chronicles 20, 15 and 17, when faced with overwhelming enemies, God tells King Jehoshaphat and the people of Judah, do not be afraid or be discouraged because of the vast army, for the battle is not yours but God's. You will not have to fight this battle. The real victory comes not from their efforts, but from surrendering the battle to God. True victory is found in letting go of our need to control and allowing God to fight on our behalf. In essence, trusting in God's victory, victory in the Christian life is not about trying harder or fighting sin by our own strength. It's about receiving the victory God has already provided in Jesus, standing firm in faith and trusting him to fight our battles. When we stop striving and start resting in his victory, we find peace and strength knowing that he has already won. Let's embrace this truth. Victory is not something we achieve. It is something we receive. May we trust in God's finished work and find our rest in Jesus.